Our current situation is the outcome of Congress leaving a broken, outdated immigration system in place for over two decades, despite unanimous agreement that we desperately need legislative reform. The White House has made Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas the face of the humanitarian crisis unfolding at the southern border as Title 42 is rolled back. But the administration's attempts to distance President Joe Biden from the politics of the post-pandemic demand from immigrants seeking asylum is unlikely to absolve him from blame as he embarks on his 2024 re-election campaign. President Biden has led the largest expansion of lawful pathways in decades. Before Title 42's repeal, Biden and his staff have increasingly tried to manage expectations, with the president himself bracing the public for chaos at the border. Uh, we're doing all we can. Uh, the answer is uh, it remains to be seen. It's going to be chaotic for a while. Yet that has not prevented Republicans from appointing responsibility to the president and Mayorkas. Mr. President, my message is very simple. Do not miss another deadline like you just missed on Title 42. Our country cannot afford it. Mayorkas underscored the strain rescinding Title 42 in favor of Title 8, the separate federal authority will put on border personnel. Title 8 creates tougher penalties for illegal immigrants. The administration will now deny entry to anyone who did not first seek asylum in a country they traveled through or online. If anyone arrives at our southern border after midnight tonight, they will be presumed ineligible for asylum and subject to steeper consequences for unlawful entry, including a minimum five-year ban on re-entry and potential criminal prosecution.